Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic Course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR NET December 2018 and we are doing this problem 1 of the section A. It's a problem of general aptitude. Let us have a look. A mineral contains a cubic and a spherical cavity. The length of the side of the cube is the same as the diameter of the sphere. If the cubic cavity is half filled with liquid and the spherical cavity is completely filled with the liquid, what is the approximate ratio of the volume of the liquid in the cubic cavity to that in the spherical cavity? So the problem is talking about a mineral which consists of a cavity. What is the meaning of cavity? It means a whole kind of thing. All right, like the cavity in tooths, we got a hole. So the same thing is with the mineral that we have a mineral in which we have two types of hole. One is in the shape of cube and another one is, the, is in the shape of a sphere. Now the problem is telling us that length of the cube is same as that of the diameter of the sphere. So firstly I will draw a cube and a sphere. We don't need to draw a mineral but we need to draw cube and a sphere. All right. All right. So, so see we have a cube and we have a sphere. All right. Now length of the cube is same as the diameter of the sphere. So let us say L is the length of this uh, cube that will imply the diameter of will be L. Now if the diameter is L, what will be the radius? Radius will be L by 2. All right. Now question is telling us that uh, if the cubic cavity is half filled with the liquid. So this cavity cubic is actually half filled with that of liquid. So liquid half is filled in this cavity like this. All right. Now, and the spherical cavity is completely filled with the liquid. What is the approximate ratio of the volume of the liquid in the cubic cavity to that in the spherical cavity? So firstly, we need to write down the volume. All right, the formula of volume. So volume of cube and volume of sphere. Volume of sphere. All right. Now see. Volume of the cube is given by uh, volume of the cube is given by this L cube. All right, length into breadth into height. So since length is L, height is also L, and breadth is also L, so it will be L cube. But the question is telling us that the volume which is filled inside this uh, cubic cavity is half. All right, the liquid f of the volume which is filled. So it is half. That is why I am dividing it with two. Now volume of the sphere will be 4 by 3 pi r cube, pi r is l by 2. So that, that is the formula for the volume of the sphere and it is completely filled. What we need to find out, we need to find out the approximate ratio of the volume of the liquid in the cubic cavity to that in the spherical cavity. So ratio will be, let us say Vc is volume in the cubic cavity and Vs is the volume in the spherical cavity. So it will be L by L cube by 2 over 4 pi L cube by C. We have 8, 3 is a 24. So we will get 24. So L cube will be cancelled by L cube and we will get 24 by 2 into 4 pi. All right. So what we will get then? Uh, we will get C. What we have? We have 24. 4 to the 8. Now C this pi is around 3.14 all right we know that the value of the pi is 3.14 4 to the 8 8 3 is a 24 we are trying to find out approximate ratio all right it is already given that we have to find out approximate ratio so what we will get we will get one are you getting my point or not so ratio will be one is to one got it because we are approximating pi to only 3 that is why because see in the options you don't have any any ratio in the des, uh, decimals all right it's not like this that 1 is to 1.2 it's not like that that is why we have to consider pi as 3 and that is why we will get 4 to the 8 8 3 to the 24 so we will get 1 is to 1 
so which option will be correct option number two will be correct if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you